Welcome to a wet Monday morning here. It's week six, renovating the house. Place a bit of a mess here after Saturday when I was doing the floor. It was so dark, I just kind of left everything. So this is the chaos that was going on in this room as I was trying to get the, the insulation down on the floor. So lots going on today. I just need to decide what happens and what doesn't. I really need to start the plastering on that wall in the corner, get that up to an acceptable level where it's hiding all the protruding rocks, decide what, what finish I do on these walls. I'm going to see how this plaster works. This is a renovation specific lime-based breathable plaster here. And do it the facade renovation a la show blog. It's pre-mixed. So I, I don't know, there's 20 bags there. I don't know how far that'll get me. Let's see how it goes. And yeah, fingers crossed it's nice and nice and easy to use. I just have to finish off a few boards here. I had these weren't weren't down prior to insulating, so I just have these two two boards along here. Uh, one over here in the corner beside the fireplace. Uh, I purposely left this back from the fireplace. I want to fill that up with stone down below to bring out the, the heart of the fireplace just a little bit more. The surround here needs to be, needs to be uh, plastered. I need to kind of square it off somehow. So that needs to be done as well. And then in here, I need to close off some holes in the wall from where there are vents from the central heating up there. Strip the walls, give the walls a, just a, a base coat of paint. This door, obviously, we haven't decided what we're doing with yet. So all the work with the insulation down below, look, this thing is just letting hot air out and cold air in. So uh, until we figure out what we're going to do with this, the budget now is, look, it's it's been eaten into the last little while. So there definitely isn't the budget for €3,500 for a, the new door for there. So I may take out the panes of glass and put in double glazing, retrofit double glazing to it and maybe just close off the, the left and right panels and just leave the center door open so I can seal the, the floor below as best I can. So it's been a slow morning here. I've done a little bit of tidying up, not a lot. I managed to get the two boards to this side of the room to finish off this side of the room. I've just finished in this little corner here now. They took forever doing the funny cuts around the doors. So I took my time on them. I wanted to get it, you know, leave as little gaps as possible. So that turned out really well. And as you can see from behind me, the window order has arrived. So we spent a lot of time looking at windows and there, you know, there was a huge expense. We were going with PVC because it was the cheapest and because there's one window already changed upstairs in the bathroom, so white PVC. But after a lot of looking, it was just... It, well, I'll do a whole video on, on windows at some stage, but they like to retrofit windows here in France, which means leave the old frame, fit a new window. Uh, so by the time you do that, your area of glass is being reduced down and reduced down again because the PVC frames are so big. Anyway, we found these windows online from a French manufacturer, Lapierre. And these are made of wood. Uh, we went with wood. It was a little, worked out about the same price as PVC. It, these are made from sustainably sourced wood here in France. They have a nice tin frame on them, so they're a bit more like the original. I didn't get the little cross member here doesn't really need them. That was put in for whatever reason back in the olden days. So these worked out really, sorry about the noise, in the grand scheme of things, quite cheap. 
I'm going to do a whole video on what everything has cost us so far on the renovation from buying the house to all the all the stuff we've bought including tools and then all the all the bits that we've got along the way so they're really nice lovely wood finish it's treated four hinges on the side i kind of got a twisty handle which is more like it's it's a it's a, a dual handle which is more like the original ones on the window so these will look somewhat authentic i presume they're locked now and i have the handles here follow me over here now So these are the handles we've got. So they're quite like the original. It's just that twist. Oh, there we go. Oh, it looks like a ratchet. Nice. So I should be able to open this window. In theory. Nice. So those leaves will lift off because they're quite heavy. And then I just have the frame to work with to put in. And wood is a little bit more forgiving, I think, than PVC. Is it more forgiving? Well, yeah. Anyway, I need to learn how to put in windows. I did work with a guy putting in windows when I was about 15. Uh, from memory, I think I was just doing lifting. I wasn't doing anything else, clearing up. But these look, the business saved it about 3,000 euro by installing them ourselves. So let's hope, let's hope it goes in, they go in okay. That's the lock up there. Nice, really nice. Happy with those. The first window I'm going to do is this one here, just because it's nice and low down for working on. It's all been, the reveals have been peel back so uh, it's pretty much ready to take out that frame the frame is, is pretty rotten and we'll put in a window here do a test here where it's nice and easy to work and then the boys room next because i want to have i'm going to stay here i think for a few days over christmas and work after christmas and between new years so i need the house to be somewhat habitable So it was quite late before I got to start the plaster. I had a visitor to the house and I had to give them the tour. And the tour is basically a uh, uh, slightly short version of all the vlogs. It takes, it takes a bit of time to do. Uh, I started this wall here. Look, there's a lot of filling in to do here. So I have to basically fill in all the holes first and then go back over it and try and do a, a finishing plaster on it. And that's the plan anyway. One mistake I made was I mixed up two bags thinking it wouldn't go a long way. 
well, it went really far and I ended up running out of light and just using the rest up on the fireplace in there to try to build the fireplace back up. Plaster seems really good. It's a really good consistency. It's four and a half liters of water per bag. When I was mixing it in the mixer, it didn't seem to be consistent enough. It was too wet. So that mixer, I, look, it's not the mixer. It's me. I, I added all the, all the, all the mortar first and then I added the, all the water to it and said, I think I should have added the water first or a half and a half or something. It was just too much. So I had to scrape all the stuff off the bottom of the mixer and then the consistency was perfect and it lasted ages. So I was able to work with it for, for quite a long time. It's cold here. So it's going to take a while to set. I would imagine, but it's, yeah, it's not bad there now. So I'll go over this wall, that wall, and see how long it takes to dry and take it from there. Tomorrow I need to tidy up because I'm working in a mess here at the moment. And it's just a nightmare trying to do anything. I'm, I, if anyone's wondering why I'm, I wasn't using my bigger trowel, where's it gone? I can't even find it now. It's such a mess here. Uh, it's just before, but well, I need the small one for in between the joints anyway. But I stood on this just before I was about to plaster. So I, that was an omen not to start plastering. And I do have new ones on the way I ordered last week. So they should be here during the week at some point. So that's good for the bin now, nothing else. Anyway, see you tomorrow.